Okay, what I'm trying to demonstrate here is how in ProType Titler we can do some timing without the aid of a sync cursor. I have an event on the timeline and in this particular event I have installed a freeze frame right at a certain point. And what I want to do is have the title come in this way and land about here right at the same time that the, that the entire frame freezes. So it's a timing issue here. And uh, here's how we're going to do that. I've already prepared a title. and We'll bring that up and place it on the Vegas timeline. And I'm not going to move the title because that would be another way of controlling it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to control it inside of ProType Titler. Now my title's right in the middle of the screen and I don't want that, so I'm going to drag it down below here. And then I'm going to set the off offset to zero. And that's really my ending position, but I want it to hit hit the freeze frame at that ending position. So now my first position will be off screen and I'm going to pull the X offset to the left until the title is off the screen. As you know the X offset moves it left and right and the Y moves it up and down. So I will place this off just off the screen that's position number one and then I will set that X offset on the automation timeline. This is where everything really happens in ProType Titler. What's so difficult to learn and this is where the action is on the automation timeline inside ProType Titler. So that's my first position. My second position I'm just going to go out two seconds on the timeline and I'm going to put it back where it was in the middle by just double clicking on the the X offset it comes to zero right in the middle of the screen and I've already animated my title or automated it across the screen so that it looks like this when we play it we play it something like like this starting from the beginning and it stops the problem is it doesn't hit where I want it to hit so I will place the Vegas timeline cursor where I want it to end and that's important I will place it right at the end point where I want the thing to stop and I'll go back into prototype titler and that, and that I, I, I could try to figure out how many seconds or something like that, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to pull this little goodie over here until this little goodie expands and contracts the keyframes within the, the, and you see it's moving on the prototype titler, but not on the screen yet, not on the, not on the preview screen. As I pull and I pull and I pull, eventually it starts to move on the preview screen, and I'm going to bring it back and stop. That's right where I want it to stop. You see that? Hard to explain why. But what's it doing in this when this gray area? It's doing nothing. It doesn't start until here. I've delayed the start. I've also compressed the space between how, how long it takes for the thing to slide in. So, and that's really the function of these. There's one on each side. And I think the real function of these is not to, to, for a timing so much. It is for timing, but it's to compress the keyframes all together at the same time, whatever use that is. I haven't figured out why they would do that or what use you could put that to, but maybe someone else could, could, could enlighten us. So now uh, I will close the prototype title. I'm so confident that this is going to work. And I will play the clip or play the event and the title should come in and freeze exactly where it's supposed to and it does. I've sort of used this to uh, create the timing. It's something you may not have known about. Well if anyone out there has uh, other suggestions on prototype title or, ha or knows about uh, these expanding and contracting of the keyframes just uh, do what I've done. Put up a video demo or help us out.